Good morning, everybody. We're going to have a look at an interesting browser extension today that is called Vimium that basically turns your browser into a Vim controllable environment. So without further ado, if you want to control your browser without the mouse, completely using your keyboard, that's what you need. Of course, every browser has its own built-in shortcuts already, but they differ by browsers and they are not always that convenient. So let me just set up Vimium here. Let's manage the extensions and just search for Vimium. And let's pick this first result and add it to Firefox and it's installed. It's as simple as that. Okay, now Vimium, Vimium is set up and let me just use that browser in the bottom right to pull up the, the shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts. And what we can now do is the following. We can just navigate this browser using those shortcuts. So ex for example, by pressing J, I'm scrolling down. By pressing K, I'm scrolling up. So let me go down again, pressing GG. Scroll, I'm scrolling to the top of the page using a capital G. I just jump to the bottom of the page. Super nice. And I also discovered, I already played around with all those commands already. Um, so a T, lowercase T will open a new tab. T, 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 ah, T. Uh, okay, in Firefox, I am directly jumping into the search bar, of course, which makes sense. Let me just exit that and using the X, I can close that normally, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it, X is close current tab. Uh, okay, there. Uh, this is one interesting detail. In some of Firefox pages, Vimium is disabled for security reasons. Uh -huh. But because this is the start page here, Vimium is disabled and this is somehow a Firefox native page. All right, okay. So whenever you are dealing with Firefox pages, Vimium is disabled. Anyways, let's open a new tab and go to duckduckgo.com. Then what I can do is exit the search bar using escape, then forward slash. As you can see, there's now a pop-up, a search bar uh, popping up at the bottom. I can search for text, for example, private, hit enter using the small, um, using the lowercase n key, I can jump to the next occurrence. And again, using the capital G, I can jump to the, ah, using GG, I can jump to the top of the page. Using GI, I focus on the first, uh, uh, on the first input field and can type something, escape, I can exit of that, out of that. GI, focus again. And what I find really, really nice is, wow, this is so exciting, I'm getting hot here. What I find really, really nice is the interactions with the individual browser elements um, in the, on a website. For example, what you might be wondering is now, um, how would you open the hamburger menu in the top right corner of this web page? Now, what you would traditionally do in a browser is hit the tab key until you reach the, until you somehow reach the hamburger menu, menu and this is very, very cumbersome. And there, there it is. Okay, so I have to tap to that element. But using Vimium, I can just press the F key. And as you can see now, all the elements on the website are, are tagged with a letter and the hamburger menu has the letter E, so I type E and the hamburger menu opens. That's open, that's, that's, yeah, and that's what I find powerful about Vimium. It's not opening tabs, you can do that in Firefox by shortcut and it's not closing tabs, but this is what makes it really nice. So you really don't need a mouse anymore. So let me just press F again. As you can see now, all the possible elements that I would like to click on are highlighted. And let's go to the to the themes page, E. E, and there's the themes page. Let's hit F again. Let me pull up all features. 
And all features, and now I'm using my mouse to point to that here, just that you can see it has a letter combination to access it. So here I have to press S, F, and then it opens. All right, let's open a new, a new tab and see what we can, what else we can do. Let's go to my web page here, F, and let's open my YouTube channel using E. And it's just smooth, it just works. That's And that's awesome. Um, let's have a look at the shortcuts again. What else is there? So we've covered most of the scrolling shortcuts. Let's try another one. Um, let's open wikipedia.com. And I want to go using F, O, F, and then A. I want to read the English articles. Done. Now there's this search icon on the top of the page. Let's see how we can access that. I press F and there's a C that is tagging it. So let's press C and there we are in the search box, all using only the keyboard. It's, it's, it's so nice somehow. Um, I can imagine once you got the practice down and you use that regularly, it really makes a difference. And it's quite nice to have to, to not have to rely on a mouse. I mean, there are places where you have to use a mouse. For example, if you are building stuff in 3D or you are, yeah, you are moving somehow across 3D surfaces. I wouldn't know how to navigate Google Earth, for example, without a mouse. But for simple web browsing and looking up stuff and switching between tabs and closing tabs and all of that stuff, it, you can just do it via keyboard, especially if you are traveling or you just use a simple notebook, a laptop, um, and that only has a touchpad and you don't have a mouse attached. It's awesome. Let's search something on Wikipedia. For example, programming, hit enter. Now using the D and U buttons, the D and U keys, we can scroll down. I'm pressing D now, half a page. This scrolls down half a page and using the U button, we can scroll up again. So this is also very convenient for simply reading. I don't have to use the scrolling wheel of my mouse. Awesome. Using R, we can reload the page. Yeah, just it's just nice. What else is there? There is an insert mode and a visual mode, as in Vim. I don't know what to do with the in insert mode now. Um, let me hit the I for the insert mode. Now I can type stuff, but I think I need a text box for that. I know how to pull up a text box. Wait, let me just uh, open a new tab. Let's play around with the insert mode and look for a simple tool to remove spaces from text and let's do F to search for elements in the web browser and then open the which one P the second search result okay now let me scroll down there's a there's a text box there maybe we can access it somehow using the insert mode I'm pressing I um, I'm not sure what to do with the insert mode, honestly, because I first have to select that text box somehow. Using GI, I'm now at the first text box. Okay, GI again. Okay, that's interesting. GI seems to highlight also the text boxes that can be used. How can I get the second text box? There's I, no, 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 that's not it. Let's have a look at how that works. Vimium insert mode. What is insert mode for? Let's open that. And uh, let's switch to the tab using a capital L, no, capital K. I've got that from this shortcut down here. Go one tap right. 
Okay. Use insert mode to pass through keyboard shorts commands to websites that use them. For example, if you are in your email app, Gmail or Yahoo Mail, for example, and press the question mark key, you'll see Vimium's help screen. To see your email app's help screen, press it then. Okay, ah, that makes sense. So whenever a website has built-in keyboard responses, built-in keyboard responsive behavior, behavior, then that's what you use the insert mode for. Okay, now still I want to focus that text box down here, that one. How do I do that? There are commands to find stuff, cycle forward to find next mesh, yeah, yeah. All of that is fine, but how do I focus a specific element? Ah, probably we can use this the find command just as we would as we as when we open something or click on something. So here we can use F and then S. Uh, of course. Okay. So basically in Vimium you solve every problem you have. Everything that you would click with a mouse, you select using F and then the shortcut. Okay, so let's escape again and show you again. F, F pulls up all the search results on the website and then using the respective letter that it is tagged with, you can select the individual element as if you would click it with the mouse. So now I want to click the S result, which is this text box. And now here I can paste some text. Okay, escape. Scroll down. Now I want to remove the spaces using this big button. So let's do F again and W. And of course that website is broken. Please enable cookie. My cookies are enabled. So that is what that was a ridiculously bad example. Let me just <laughs> use uh, that same search query, remove spaces from text to try it on a different website. Let's get the first search result and try it there. Ah, it's always opening in a different tab and that is because I'm typing a capital letter, I think. Yes, it makes a difference if you press a lowercase k in this case to access the first search result. The search result opens in the same page and if it's a capital one, it opens in a new tab. So let's press it with a low, so lots, eh. Let's use a lowercase k and it opens in the same tab. Okay, then let's go down. There's a, a text box. Let's press F, capital C or lowercase c. Let's see if lowercase c also works. Yeah, works just the same. I don't think that capitalization uh, makes a difference here when searching for elements. Now, here's my text, please remove all the spaces. And then let's do escape to escape the text box. And then search and you press the remove all spaces button using D. And that's it. As you can see in the text box up here, all the text, uh, all the spaces have been removed from the text. Yeah. Okay, what else is there? There's a visual mode that we can enter. So let's press V. I'm referring to that shortcut. Let's have a look at what that does. V. We're now in visual mode. Ah, and that this is like Vim's visual mode where we just select entire lines. Ah, okay. As you can see, there's a highlighted um cursor here and somehow we can select all the entire lines um, using a capital V as in Vim. Then can we yank that text? Let me just press a lowercase y. I, I'm not sure if we can expect this to work because in, lower, uh, in Vim a lowercase y is to yank meaning to copy the text and I think that worked. Let me just try that again. Right. 
I'm not a pro at this. Okay. Yanked 224 characters. It seems to have yanked something. So let's go back to the text box. FC. Remove all that. And now can I paste that somehow? How can I? To paste it, FC. Maybe it's, um, maybe I can use just control V. Ah, of course, yes, it's it's part of the regular um, clip box. Clip box, is it called clip box? Ah, it's part of the memory, of the regular memory. I forgot what it's called, clip box. Copy to clip, uh, clipboard, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been a year long developer and can't even remember those, those words. Awesome. Anyways, that is Vimium and feel free to play around with it. I'm just looking if there's anything else that is interesting here. Open a link, open a link in a new tab, capital F. Let's try that, capital F. Ah, that's the search box thing, add uh, a search uh, function thing. Okay, now we have opened this in a new tab. What else is there? Select the next frame on the page, GF. GF, no idea what that is for. Next frame, select the page's main top frame. Ah, okay. I think that has to do something with the iframes in HTML. Not relevant for most uses, I think. Using find mode, we already did that. We can find words on a website. So let's try that. Slash code or coding. And as you can see, yeah, we can just jump through the results on the website. Then we can go back in history using a capital H and capital L. So let's try that. Yeah, I don't have a long history now, but that works. Capital L. Going back in history seems to work for me, but not going forward. Ah, that is because if I go to the very beginning of the history, then I'm at that Firefox specific page again, which blocks Vimium for security reasons. So let's try again. Let me just pull up this, this Vim documentation here. And let's open some links, libraries, then let's open that link, then let's open this link. Then let's open this link. Okay, and now using capital H and capital L, I can navigate back in history and I can navigate forward in history. Yeah, so that works. Okay. All right, that's it. I will close this video now. Play around with it. Feel free to use that. I think it has potential to be very useful. Some things are a bit buggy, especially if you interact with pages where Vimium is disabled, such as the default Firefox, Firefox pages, such as this default starting page here. Here it doesn't work, but mostly it's it, it does have potential, especially if you're familiar with Vim. And I hope you can make use of it. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.